most important ways that NNSA can highlight the outstanding science and research being done across the enterprise. Uh, it's, it's particularly uh, a pleasure for me to be here with Don. Don mentioned uh, we were off in California last week, and, and you know, the fact that defense programs and defense nuclear nonproliferation do a lot of things together is no mistake. It's very much by intent, and it's a, uh, I think, a natural partnership within NNSA. Uh, partnership that Don and I know hasn't always existed, but one to which we are extremely committed, because if you look at the topic of this symposium, nuclear security, uh, a large part of that issue resides in Don's universe, and the rest of it, or most of the rest of it, lives in mine, and uh, our counterterrorism and, uh, and emergency management people also have a piece of that. So this is, this is a, an issue that we address across what we now call one NNSA, and, uh, and it's particularly a pleasure to be able to work with Don and, uh, and all of the labs, institutes, and sites, as we discussed with the Russians last week, in this collaboration. So I, I am particularly honored to uh, be able to join you today to announce a major new initiative, our Nuclear Science and Security Consortium. Uh, this new effort will bring together DOE laboratories and some of our nation's best universities to improve the science and technology of our NNSA nuclear nonproliferation programs. Uh, when he took office, President Obama used his first foreign policy speech on his first international trip to outline his vision for confronting nuclear dangers. As he said on that day in Prague, the threat of a terrorist acquiring and using a nuclear weapon is the most extreme and immediate threat we face. In response to that threat, the President outlined an ambitious nuclear security agenda. We've already made significant progress, as Don mentioned, uh, our, our progress toward locking down the most vulnerable nuclear materials is proceeding quite well, uh, and New START has been ratified, a huge, uh, huge accomplishment, but there's a lot of work yet to be done. We recognize the need to invest in research and development for two reasons. First, we need to create the new technologies to detect nuclear proliferation and testing to monitor compliance with nuclear nonproliferation and arms control treaties. But second, and I think to many of us in this room more importantly, we need to invest in the next generation of nuclear nonproliferation expertise and provide links between the talented students in our universities and the nonproliferation challenges that our nuclear laboratories will face in the future. To me, this is key. Investing in the scientific and technical underpinnings of our program is critical to implementing the President's nuclear security agenda and to preventing nuclear terrorism and nuclear proliferation. Uh, as you know, Don's uh, program has a very substantial commitment to uh, modernizing the physical infrastructure of the nuclear security enterprise. On the nuclear nonproliferation side, we spend a lot of our effort trying to figure out how to support the, the people side of that equation. Uh, so we, we look at this, and particularly uh, you know, the efforts of our R&D program along with LDRD, as an opportunity to bring these forces together and to really work towards some common uh, and achievable goals. So today I am an, I'm very happy to announce a new partnership between academia and our DOE National Laboratories. Our Nuclear Science and Security Consortium represents our plan for investing in a strong personnel <coughs> pipeline of new technical talent for the DOE laboratories. This partnership of seven universities and four national laboratories has at its core a goal to build the next generation of U.S. nuclear nonproliferation and security expertise. <coughs> This is a sizable and sustained investment. We have committed $5 million a year for each of the next five years. The competition for the program included some of the best universities in the country, and the selection process was not easy. 
the universities chosen represent some of the top institutions in the technical fields most relevant to nuclear nonproliferation. Four University of California schools, Berkeley, Irvine, Davis, and the UC Institute on Global Conflict and Cooperation, along with Michigan State University. I'm sorry, Don, for both of us that it wasn't the University of Michigan, but it was Michigan State. I can't, I can't help that. Um, University, of Las University of Nevada, Las Vegas, uh, and Washington University in St. Louis. So these academic institutions have joined with Sandia, Lawrence Livermore, Los Alamos, and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratories. And this is an outstanding team. Our vision is that this team represents a bridge between two research communities, a two-way bridge that will benefit both our university partners as well as our laboratories. The consortium will focus on hands-on training in the core set of experimental disciplines that support the nonproliferation and nuclear security mission. Nuclear physics, nuclear chemistry, nuclear instrumentation, and nuclear engineering. Through adjunct professorships and appointments, lab-hosted summer school courses and mission-centric workshops, the consortium will allow university students and researchers to access facilities and research available to our national laboratories. This will enable collaborative efforts with our world-class researchers at our national lab. To attract the best and brightest students, we plan to couple basic science research to technology developments relevant to the nuclear security mission. This will, help, this will help us draw top talent into the workforce pipeline, while also helping leverage the outstanding science and research being performed at the consortium campuses and our laboratories. So as we push the boundaries of science and discovery, partnerships like the National Science and Cons Security Consortium are a vital part of our effort to invest in the future of our programs by building a strong pipeline into our laboratories. I'm happy to announce the creation of this consortium as it begins a new chapter in our academic laboratory relationship. And I would especially like to congratulate the University of California at Berkeley as the lead institution for this effort, as well as the other university consortium members for the outstanding proposal that they submitted. UC Berkeley will be hosting its own kickoff event in California and we'll have some senior members of our R&D office out there to share in that uh, announcement. So we look forward to great research results from the team and the opportunity to work with our nation's brightest young minds. And hopefully in the years to come at some of these LDRD symposia, some of the posters outside will include names of uh, young researchers from these universities who have been able to match their talents with uh, some of those perhaps uh, in the room. And we very much look forward to seeing that develop. So thank you very much.